Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. This channel talks about fragrances as well as fashion. So if that interests you, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And if you don't mind, take a quick second as well. Tap that bell icon. That way you get notified every time I upload new content on the channel. So guys, on today's video, we're gonna be talking about 10 fragrances in my collection that will get you noticed. They've gotten me noticed in the past and I have a feeling if you wear them, they may do the same thing for you as well. These are some kind of unique fragrances as well because these are also fragrances that not everybody talks about. Some of these fragrances are uh, fragrances that I don't hear mentioned a lot. I mean, there are some fragrances on this list that are gonna be more, uh, more popular or more recognizable, but there are a few as well that that I don't feel a lot of people talk about. And again, they've gotten me noticed when I have worn these fragrances. So if you guys wanna hear the 10 fragrances that I have to discuss today, you know how we get down. Keep it locked right here. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in, man. Let's go ahead and jump right into this list. Starting off with a fragrance from the house of Bond Number no. 9, this fragrance always seems to get me noticed, get some positive attention when wearing this fragrance right here. And it's one, this particular scent that I don't hear a lot of people discuss from Bond Number no. 9, and this one is called Sag Harbor. This one is called Sag Harbor. This is a beautiful scent. It has some nice floral notes in this. A very unique note of uh, grape accord in this and honeysuckle, which again, grape, honeysuckle, not a combination that you see paired too often in perfumery, but man, this is just a nice scent. It's very, very unisex. A woman could wear this, but guys definitely can pull this off in the spring and summertime. And it's a fragrance that always gets me noticed. It's soft and subtle, but it has some oud in the dry down as well, so it will get you noticed. Nice, beautiful combination of notes and accords in this scent. So trust me, this one will get you noticed from the House of Bond number nine. Again, this is called Sag Harbor. All right, the next fragrance on this list comes from the House of Creed, and this one is Royal Oud. Royal Oud. Now, this fragrance right here, a lot of people know about Royal Oud, but I don't think that it is talked about enough. This is one of Creed's best fragrances and I always get noticed when I wear this scent. The last time I wore this scent, I probably got four or five compliments when I wore this. Starting with before I even left the house, the missus was very, very impressed with this scent. I don't wear it as often, so it's one that really caught her attention. And when I went to work, again, three, four other people commented me on this scent it's really, really nice, man. It's, it's an oud fragrance, but it's not over the top. It's not an in-your-face oud. I think Creed Royal oud is a great fragrance to try as like an introductory type scent into the world of oud. Um, it's a beautiful scent. Cedar wood. I get more cedar wood than oud in this scent, but it's really, really nice. Spicy, masculine, and smooth. That's what this is, and it will get you noticed from the House of Creed. If you haven't tried it, for some reason or another, I recommend you try Royal Oud from the House of Creed. As always, guys, I want to leave links down below where you can find these fragrances at a great price. Also, where you can purchase decants if you would like to try any of these fragrances out from places like Scent Split, which is a great place to get decants on fragrance. All right, the next fragrance on the list comes from the House of Chanel, and this is Chanel Egoist. Chanel Egoist. I know we have a lot of folks out here that are fans of Platinum Egoist, which I do like platinum, but I am more of a fan of Ego East. This thing is really, really masculine and sexy. It has rose, tobacco, and also cinnamon. Some of the major players here, vanilla. Again, I think this is a less, I think this is a less um, animalic in your face version of Musk Ravageur uh, from Frederick Mall. Kind of give you the same kind of vibe, but this is a scent that will get you noticed if you're dressed up. Again, this is masculine and sexy. From the house of Chanel, this is called Ego East. All right, the next fragrance on the list, guys, comes from the house of Jerjal. This one will definitely get you noticed. Trust me, this one is called Kobe. This one is called Kobe. And Kobe is a beautiful citrus aromatic fragrance from the house of Jerjal. 
And it's just a very, very unique take on the note of Neroli. Now, I will say, you have to be a fan of Neroli to really appreciate this fragrance, but I love Neroli. I talk about that all the time. This has Neroli, Petit Grain, as well as some Benzoin and vanilla as well. So just a very, very unique take on a citrus aromatic type fragrance, but very, very unique. Definitely gets me noticed when I rock this one. So it's one that I highly recommend. Again, if you want to at least sample it, I highly recommend it from the house of Jerjoff. This is called Kobe. All right, the next fragrance up on this list, guys, comes from the house of Prada. This one is popular, but it will get you noticed. This is called Prada Amber Pour Homme. Prada Amber Pour Homme, beautiful scent, guys. People always talk about this fragrance when they mention this and talk about this smells like a very luxurious bar of soap. And that's why it gets you noticed. It's just fresh and clean. And that is a combination that really is hard to go wrong with when you talk about wearing a fragrance and having people notice you when you smell fresh and you smell clean and you smell luxurious while doing it it's a recipe to get you noticed from the house of prada if you haven't tried it put your nose on this one this is called prada amber pour on all right guys next up on the list this fragrance comes from the house of Amwise, and this one is reflection man reflection man this is a beautiful white floral and sandalwood based fragrance jasmine again sandalwood I love this stuff it's just it's very very different there's an accord in here and I heard so and I heard somebody say this a long time ago that an accord in here uh, somehow reminds them of kind of like tortilla chips <laughs> and again that may sound like it's off-putting but I agree with that reference to some extent but it smells great man it's a very very unique fragrance to say that it's filled with a melange of white floral notes in this but the sandalwood is really really nice and smooth and creamy in this scent i love this fragrance especially in the springtime so one that will definitely get you noticed from the house of Amwaj. this one is reflection man the next fragrance up on this list guys this is one of the best uh men's fougere fragrances on the market still today this is from the house of pen halligans and this is called sartorial Sartorial, nothing much needs to be said about this fragrance, but it was made to uh, evoke ideas or memories or thoughts of a bespoke tailor's workshop. So all of the things that transpire in a bespoke tailor's workshop from the wooden floors to the steam from the irons, the, the cloth and materials that are being used, all these things have been kind of uh, somehow put into this bottle and i just all i can say is that it's a beautiful fragrance again if you're looking for a, a nice fougere scent that will get you noticed guys please try this one out again you have to be a fan of a more masculine fougere kind of fragrance but this is one of the best i've ever put my nose on it smells so so good from the house of pen halligans this is called sartorial all right the next fragrance up on this list guys this fragrance comes from the house of mancera this one will certainly get you noticed. This one is called Black Gold. Black Gold. Now, I mentioned this fragrance when I talked about my top uh, fragrances from the House of Mancera. And I, I just love this one, man. I love fragrances that are composed like this. When I talked about it before, I told you guys the way that it's structured as far as the notes in it. And they don't smell alike per se, but it reminds me of the way... Uh, original Santal is structured. It has nice lavender in this, cinnamon, um, nice leather dry down. So it, it, it has some masculine tendencies in it, but it's also fresh and then gives you that, that sweetness as well. That a lot of people oftentimes really find very, very appealing in a fragrance. But this, guys, is a beautiful scent from Mancera. It has some gentlemanly tendencies and qualities to it that I really, really enjoy. It's just smooth just like me. And that's why I like it. From the house of Mancera, give this one a try. This is called Black Gold. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list, nobody talks about this fragrance. And some guys may shy away from it because it can be a little bit powdery and floral, but trust me, it will get you noticed from the house of Frederick Mall. This is called Irish Poudre. Irish Poudre from the house of Frederick Mall. Like I said, some guys may shy away from this one because it can come off a little bit powdery, 
Uh, there's, a, there's a host of floral notes in this. I think it has jasmine, it may have some rose, uh, some lily in this as well, magnolia. But the dry down guys, sandalwood, vetiver, vanilla, amber, beautiful fragrance. Again, nobody talks about this, but this is kind of like one of those secret weapon fragrances for me because when it's hot outside, specifically in the spring, this fragrance gets me noticed every time from the house of Frederick Mall. So again, Frederick Mall fragrances are expensive. Again, try decant, you know, if you want to uh, put your nose on this. Again, I highly recommend scent split or something like that. Buy decant from somebody, but put your nose on it. Wear it in the springtime and tell me about your results from the house of Frederick Mall. Again, this one is called Iris Poudre. All right, guys, and last but not least on this list, coming in at the number one spot from the house of Perfume Aroma, this is called Aqua Viva. Aqua Viva. This fragrance made the list of the only, if I could only have 10 fragrances, period, for the rest of my life. This is one of the fragrances that I chose. If you did not see that video, I'm going to link it up here somewhere because it's the best or one of the absolute best citrus fragrances I've ever smelled and with these fragrances from Perfume Aroma they have a very high oil concentration in them so for a summer kind of citrus aromatic type fragrance this thing really really lasts a long time it's a blast of lemon if you like lemon you're gonna love this stuff and I love it it's just very invigorating very uplifting and refreshing and I absolutely love this stuff it always gets me noticed in the summertime, springtime. So put your nose on this if you can. I highly recommend it. From the house of Perfume Aroma, this is called Aqua Viva. All right, guys, that's it. That is my time. I hope you enjoyed this list today as I gave you 10 fragrances from my collection that will get you noticed. As always, I appreciate your time and attention to these videos because, of course, I know you could have been anywhere else in the world. You didn't have to watch this video, but you did, and I sincerely appreciate that now don't forget guys to take a few moments to like comment and subscribe and share these videos out to folks that you think could use this information or find it entertaining because i'm your guy darian the bowtie fragrance guy i love to look good and of course i love to smell absolutely amazing so until next time keep looking good keep smelling even better i'll catch you on the flip side peace